Hello guys, welcome to the first session of create custom Alexa skill using AWS Lambda function tutorials for beginners. In this session, we will see what is intent and address. An intent represents an action that fulfills a user's spoken request. Intents are used to identify groups of questions or commands that have the same intention. For example, if you are creating a skill for online food ordering, then show menu, order food, make payment will be intent for this skill. So Alexa Skills Kit provides a library of built-in intents. You can use these intents to add functionality to your skill without providing any sample utterances. Currently, it provides built-in intents for book, calendar, music, video, weather, etc. The sample utterances are set of lightly spoken phrases mapped to the intents. Intent must include one or more sample utterances to build the model. For example, in food ordering skill, the user may say, Order one large Mexican green wave pizza, reorder, deliver pasta with the sauce, etc. You can add all possible ways that user may say. Let us switch to the browser. Here under Intents section, it includes built-in intents. By default, it contains those three built-in intents. Let me click on Add. From here, we can create our own custom intent as well as add from built-in intent. I am going to create a new custom intent with the name Hello Intent. Like invocation name, the intent name also has some conventions that we must need to follow. Click on create button. Here our intent is created. Currently it does not have any sample utterances. To add new utterance in this example, we need to write it here and press enter or this add button. Let us add hi, hey and hello. Those all are added to the table. Click on it to edit it. And you can also delete it if not required. Next is slots within those utterances. We will learn more about the slot in next session. Next is confirmation for intent. We will see it in upcoming session. Click on save model to just save your interaction model. And click on build model to save and update interaction model. Building model process will take 2 to 3 minutes. Let us click on intent to see all of these intents. By clicking add button, we can create a new one. Using this search box, we can filter it. This table displays some information about intent such as a number of utterances, slots, type of intent, etc. We can also delete intent. Skill kit provides interface for creating those and build JSON for skills interaction model. Previously, we need to write JSON data for creating or modifying intent, slot, or utterances. To see JSON data that use our skill, click on JSON Editor. Here you can see that it includes intents that we have created. Along with sample utterances we have added. We can modify this JSON as well as upload new JSON file for importing existing skill. Now, let us see what we have learned in this session. We saw an intent represents an action that fulfills a user's spoken request. And sample utterances represent spoken phrases and it may include slots. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.